Um, we're waiting for the Vice President of the Commission. Colleagues, 1,310. 1310 is the number of days between the publication of the proposal on money market funds regulation when we will actually have the final vote on this matter tomorrow. This must be a close to a record. Money market funds have been held up for more than three years and four council presidencies because it is one of the most contentious and complex pieces of legislation we have ever dealt with. It's been a long journey, but I'm delighted we've reached the right destination and overall agreement between the Parliament and the Council. And I believe this is a win-win both for the European money market fund sector and the European taxpayer who will be better protect protected. With assets under management of around one trillion, MMFs are an important source of short-term financing for financial institutions, corporations and governments. In Europe, around 22% of short-term debt securities issued by governments or by the corporate sector are held by MMF. Money market funds hold 38% of the short debt issued by the banking sector. Because of the systemic interconnectedness between MMFs, the banking sector and the corporate and government finance, their operation has been at the core of international work on shadow banking. As a result, MMFs have been scrutinized by various regulators and supervisors. Indeed, the financial crisis of 2007 and 8 showed that MMFs can be vulnerable to shocks and may even spread or, or amplify risks. This can fuel an investor-run and liquidity crisis for an MMF, potentially triggering negative effects on other parts of the financial system. The agreement we've reached under the Slovak presidency, which we will vote on tomorrow, addresses these systemic concerns in particular through the following measures. Liquidity and diversification requirements are strengthened with strict daily and weekly liquidity requirements to fulfill potential redemption requests. Furthermore, the MMF portfolio will be more diversified with stringent concentration requirements to reduce risk. Assets in which MMF can invest, including the government debt, have been more strictly regulated. Sponsor support to these funds is forbidden to avoid any contagion risk. We have addressed provisions for transparency in more detail. A review clause for government CNAV has been introduced after five years. The Commission will report on the feasibility of establishing an 80% EU, EU public debt quota. The report will look at the availability of short-term EU public debt instruments and assess. And we, we can go on. A stringent regime of fees and gates in the case of shortfalls in liquidity will address the question of run risk and we will limit the use of a amortized uh, accounting method for the valuation of assets. I'm particularly pleased that apart from existing MMF models, a viable operation model for LVNAV MMF has been introduced at the Parliament's initiative and I believe that the run risk compared to the CNAV is significantly lower. The LVNAV cannot deviate by more than 20 parts from the NAV and is far stricter than 50 basis points. This is a compromise and I prefer a compromise which regulates the sector over no agreement and leaving an unregulated MMF sector and it's in line with the international commitments we've made. Colleagues, politics is a team support and you cannot make agreements in isolation. And let me therefore say a word of thanks to the shadow rapporteurs, Brian Hayes, Peter Jazik, Said Kamil, Eva Jolie and Fabio Di Massi. And to the Econ President Roberto Gualtieri for his political support and to Camille Sasco who led the negotiations on behalf of the Council and also to the Econ Secretariat and the S&D Secretariat and the policy advisors. I believe this agreement is an important step forward in ensuring long-term stability of our financial markets. The EU has been lagging behind, as I said, uh, international commitments that we have which the US already implemented 18 months ago. So I hope, colleagues, I can rely on your overwhelming support tomorrow 
And that would send a clear signal and a welcome political signal that we are capable of adopting a strong, harmonized regulatory framework, ensuring financial stability and investors get well protected all over the EU. Thank you.